this video, we're going to do some application problems using our trig functions and our trig identities. So in this first one, we, a surveyor is standing 50 feet from the base of a large tree, as shown in this diagram. And the surveyor measures the angle of elevation to the top of the tree as 71.5 degrees. So how tall is the tree? Let's look really quick at a quick reminder of what exactly it means to be an angle of elevation. So there are two types of elevations. You can have an angle of elevation or an angle of depression. Notice that it all starts with that horizontal. So the, it's from the horizontal looking up, and a depression would be from the horizontal looking down. So if I were to draw like a person, then it would be like the person looking up to see their object. And if here I was going to draw my person, and this is like their eyesight, here where they'd be looking down. So let's head back to our problem with our tree. So we have the base of a large tree touching the ground, which tells us that it's a 90 degree angle, the ground. So tree and the ground. Our angle of elevation, our horizontal is the ground, and we're looking up to the top of the tree. So it's our angle of elevation, which means that this side is going to be my opposite. This side here is going to be my adjacent. And then, of course, this will be my hypotenuse. So I'm looking for y, and I have x. So I'm looking for my opposite, but I want my adjacent. So the trig function we would use for this is going to be tangent. So we're going to take the tangent of 71.5 degrees. Then we're going to have our opposite over adjacent, which is y over 50. And now we're trying to get the y by itself. So we're going to multiply both sides by 50, which is going to give us y equals 50 times the tangent of 71.5 degrees. We want to plug this into our calculator. But when you plug it in, you want to make sure that the mode you're in is degrees and not radians. So you definitely want to check that and make sure. So plugging that into our calculator gives us y is approximately 149 feet tall. Let's take a look at another example. Here, you are 200 yards from a river. And rather than walking directly to the river, you walk 400 yards along a straight path to the river's edge. So we want to find the acute angle theta between this path and the river's edge, as shown in this diagram. So again, here is our theta, which tells us that the 200 yards is the opposite side, and our 400 yards is our hypotenuse. Now for opposite and hypotenuse, the trig identity that we're going to use there is sine. So we're looking for the sine of theta which equals, again, our opposite of 200 over our hypotenuse of 400. And that's going to reduce to the sine of theta equals 1 half. So now we want to know what gives us a sine of theta equals 1 half. And if we go back to our sines, cosines, and tangents of special angles, we see that to get a sine with 1 half, that tells us that the theta must be 30 degrees. And so we're able to say that from the chart, we have that theta equals 30 degrees. Let's do one more example. So here, we're going to find the length C of the skateboard ramp shown in the figure below. Then we're going to find the horizontal length A of the ramp. So we have our angle of 18.4 degrees, so that tells us that this is going to be our opposite side, this is going to be our adjacent side, and C is going to be our hypotenuse. So we have, we're looking for C first, so we have opposite and hypotenuse, which is going to be sine. So we're going to find the sine of 18.4, we're going to have that set up as the opposite over our hypotenuse, which is C. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and we can multiply both sides by C. And that's going to allow us to cross those off. So now we have C times the sine of 18.4 equals 4. When we'll go ahead and we'll divide both sides by the sine of 18.4. Oops. The sine of 18.4, which is going to give us C equals 4 divided by the sine of 18.4. Now that's our exact answer. If we plug it into our calculator, we'll get our approximate answer. 
And since we're talking about kind of a real life object, you don't want to tell somebody, oh yeah, I totally, you know, I skated that skateboard ramp and it was four divided by sine 18.4, you know, feet long. That doesn't make any sense. So here we say 12 is about, we're going to get a 12.67 feet. And so we might even say that the length of the ramp is about 12 and a half feet. But now we needed to find A, and we have a couple different options here. We can either use a trig function, or we can use the Pythagorean theorem now that we've got our answer of 12.6. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use Pythagorean's theorem. So we're going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we don't know what A is, that's what we're looking for. So A squared plus 4 squared equals 16 point, oops, 12.67 squared, which gives us a squared plus 16 equals 160.5289. Then we're going to go ahead and subtract that 16 from both sides. And that's going to give us that a squared is going to be 144.5289. From there, we're going to square root both sides. We only need the positive answer here because distance can't be negative. So let's go ahead and we'll come over here and we see that A is going to equal approximately 12.02 feet. And so here we're able to say that the horizontal length of the ramp is about 12 feet long. So we have our two answers, where we solve for C and where we solve for A.